Today we'll be talking about fish disease. Fish just like every other living thing can also be affected by diseases and this can be caused by various microorganisms like bacteria, fungi, nematode, parasites, viruses and all of that. Aside microorganisms, nutritional and environmental factors can also cause disease. But for the purpose of this video, we'll be talking about bacterial disease which is the major type of microorganism that causes diseases in fish, particularly catfish. So we'll be telling you about the symptoms of this disease in a fish. How do you know your fishes are sick? For example, if you notice a white mouth on your fish, a white tail, you notice sluggishness, you notice there's reduced feeding, all these are symptoms of diseases. You should be able to monitor them, watch closely and see when there are changes in your fish. I would always say the best way for you to treat catfish disease is for you to prevent it from happening. And how do you prevent disease in catfish? Make sure you ensure biosecurity, just like every other form of livestock farming. Make sure your hands are always clean. Make sure people are not always coming to put their hands inside your pond, entering your hatchery. Make sure you keep your production area away from people. Also make sure you don't overstock your fish. Make sure you change your water when you're supposed to. If you notice a dead fish in your pond, make sure you pick that dead fish and throw it away because if you leave it for other fish to feed on, they can also spread that same disease. Due to the fact that the major disease that affects catfish in Nigeria are majorly bacterial disease, most of the drugs you see in the market are antibiotics. And some of these antibiotics we have here, we have Spitrepnol. This is an antibiotic containing a major ingredient called streptomycin. The indication for use is at the back of this drug. By the time you buy it, you see it can be used for poultry, can be used for fishes, can be used for swine. We have OTC here. OTC is an abbreviation for oxy tetracycline. So this is 100 gram OTC. The dosage for use is also behind it. We have um, we have an oral medication here, Fluxenol. This comes in a 100 ml bottle. Usually for us, we use it inside the hatchery because it is very effective. So we have the sachet of OTC there. What we have inside our sachet is about 30 grams. So he's going to pour it inside the rubber now. They are going to mix this 30 gram of OTC with about 20 liters of water. They'll mix it thoroughly and pour inside the pond. Distribute it evenly and it's the best way to treat your catfish. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like our videos, follow our page and share our videos. We will always bring you more exciting and educational.